Good day, righteous family, and all praise to only the Almighty, Most High Creator, Aya, Creator of Abram, Isaac, and Yaakov. I want to give all praise to the Almighty Creator with this video, with all my videos, and with everything. I want to give Him praise, and I give Him all credit for this video, like with all my videos. A couple of weeks back, he showed my queen and I some things in mainstream media. And then he gave me a scripture. And I have been racking my brain trying to figure it out and put it together. But it didn't fit. And today, between my queen and I, we racked our brains and the Almighty and prayed for wisdom. And the Almighty showed me how to put together this video for you. Now there's some scripture in here <clears throat> that some people are going to read. And they are not going to agree with it. Remember, I'm just the messenger. I'm just reading scripture. So, that being said. Want to learn how to predict the near future? The New Testament programs its followers to believe that no man will know the day or hour for the return of the bright morning star. It's in a lot of New Testament text. Funny thing I found is this. Like the New Testament text that reads, He who has no sin cast the first stone. No one will know the day or hour is only written in the New Testament. It's nowhere in our Book of Remembrance. Let me show you something that is in the Almighty's book that shows you how to predict the near future. No witchcraft. Only the Almighty Ayah. Is a Ayah 41, 21 to 25, and I read, Your judgment draws nigh, saith the Almighty Creator, Aya. Your counsel have drawn nigh, saith the King of Jacob. Let them draw nigh and declare to you what things shall come to pass, or tell us what things were of old, and we will apply our understanding, and we shall know what are the last and the future things. Tell us, Declare ye to us the things that are coming, coming on at the last time, and we shall know that ye are gods. Do good and do evil, and we shall wonder and see at the same time whence ye are and whence is your works. They have chosen you an abomination out of the earth, but I have raised up him that comes from the north, and him that comes from the rising of the sun. They shall be called by my name. Let the princes come, and as potter's clay, and as a potter treading clay, so shall ye be trodden down. So be it. Praise you, Aya. Thank you. Let me make this scripture more digestible so we can see what the Almighty Ayah is showing us and telling us. Is Ayah 41, 21, 26. Your judgment draws nigh, saith the Almighty Creator Ayah. Your counsel have drawn nigh, saith the King of Jacob. Let them, the heathens, kings of the nations, those in charge, draw near and declare to you, the children, or the Most High's children, what things shall come to pass, or tell us, the Most High's children, what things were of old, and we, the Most High's children, will apply our understanding, and we, the Most High's children, shall know what are the last and the future things? 
Tell us, says the heathen, say you, the Most High's children, to us, the heathen, the things that are coming on at the last time, and we, the heathen, shall know that you, the Most High's children, are gods. Do good and do evil, and we, the heathen, shall wonder and see at the same time what you, the Most High's children, are, and the origins of your works. They, the heathen, have chosen you, the Most High's children, an abomination out of the earth. But I, the Almighty Ayah, have raised up him, the Most High's children, that comes from the north, and him that comes from the rising of the sun. They shall be called by my name. Let the princes come, and as potter's clay, and as a potter trending, treading clay, so shall you, the heathen, be trodden down. So be it. If you have to rewind that and listen to it, I understand. The Almighty Ayah tells us we will know the future things, and this isn't just speaking about written prophecy. Written prophecy and seeing future events that are about to happen are two different things. He also gives us the key of how to do it in the same scripture. Let the heathens come near and declare to you what is going to pass and their fake history of old, and we will apply our understanding. What is our understanding? The Book of Remembrance, Torah. That's the key. By reading our Book of Remembrance, we get wisdom and clarity. Obedience to the Almighty Ayah's word in Torah leads us to righteousness and establishes that connection so He can show us the future. He shows us the future through the heathen's own mouths as they declare to us what is going to pass as at this day, just like it says in Isaiah 41. 22. The key. Exodus 10, 12, 13, and 15. And I read, And now, Israiah, what does the Most High Creator, Ayah, thy Savior, require of thee, but to fear Ayah, thy Redeemer, and to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Most High Ayah, thy Creator, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. 13. To keep the commandments of Ayah, thy Savior, and his ordinances. All that I charge thee today, that it may be well with thee. 15. Only the Most High chose your fathers to love them, and he chose out their seed after them, even you, beyond all nations, as at this day. So be it. To keep the commandments and his ordinances, the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's how you get to see the, f the near future as it flows from our enemy's mouths. More important than seeing the future, keeping the laws, and command laws statutes, and commandments is the only way to save your soul, like he tells us. The Almighty Aya loved you enough to wake you up so you can save your own soul. Black peoples, brown peoples, white peoples, yellow peoples, red peoples, it doesn't matter what skin tone you are or what you've done in your past. I worship Lucifer knowing that it went directly against the Almighty Ayah, and he still woke me up. Why? Because I have a purpose, just like you. 
no matter what color you are or the heinous acts you've done in your past. He loved you enough to pick you. He loved you enough to show you one thing, to follow his law, statutes, and commandments, to learn how to love him. When we do this, we are saving our souls, and the Almighty Ayah throws in some supernatural perks. Do you know how and when Russia is going to strike? Do you know why they are making the you-know-what available for, for children ages two months to five years? There's a reason why they're going after the children now. Do you know why the Almighty Ayah hasn't finished judgment yet? Read the Book of Remembrance, follow His law, statutes, and commandments, and listen to what our rulers declare to us with their own mouths. The Almighty Ayah will let you live in one reality where you can see the alternate reality being created by the kings of the nations and their mainstream media. The kings of the nations portray that everything is going as planned and we just have to tighten our belts a little more and things will soon be all right. They say the cause of all our inflation problems are because of Putin invading Ukraine. They say the dollar is stronger than ever and the nation's militaries are still the strongest in the world. They say that certain things are safe and effective. That's the reality they want us to believe, and billions of people believe it in one way or another. What do you believe? Read the laws, statutes, and commandments, and let the, un and let the Almighty Ayah unplug you from the matrix created by Lucifer, which is being run by his children, the kings of the nations is a I of 14. Or keep reading books that aren't the Book of Remembrance and stay jacked into a fake reality. The Almighty Aya gave you a gift. He gave you a winning lottery ticket that you can only cash into him. He gave you something that can't be purchased with money. He gave you something that you can't give to anyone else, no matter how hard you try or how much scripture you give them. Only he can give a person his gift. He gave it to you. Use it while you still have time and enjoy his many, many supernatural perks. Remember Jerusalem. All praise to only, only the Almighty, Most High Creator, Aya, Creator of Abram, Isaac, and Jacob. Use your gift, family. Learn to love the Almighty Aya by reading His book. Have a beautiful day. The Almighty loves you. He woke you up. And I love you. Have a beautiful day.